fellow landings, there is a trap that is being set by tenants and their advocates for landlords. And if you fall into that trap, it can cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. We're going to show you how to avoid that trap and save yourself that money. But before we do, we ask you, how many of you, over the years, have heard from your tenants complaining about issues in their apartments, a breach of the warranty of habitability, and therefore they want an abatement of some of the rent, half of the rent, or all of the rent? How many of you had, especially now during the COVID-19 pandemic, how that is waning? how evictions are picking back up, and now more and more tenants are complaining why they haven't paid rent in two years because of how they had to live. How many of you have heard these complaints? Many of you have. We know one when a tenant complained that there was mold in the bathroom and did not pay rent for 17 months. She informed yours truly that she does not owe any rent whatsoever because of the mold in the bathroom. But yet she's lived there for 17 months and never complained to the landlord about the mold. There's a way around this to protect yourself though. If you live in a municipality that requires you to have a rental certificate or a certificate of occupancy for that dwelling, get it. It's required by law, get it. Because that will guarantee to the court that when that tenant moved into the apartment because their name is on that certificate, that that dwelling met the minimum standards of habitability under the law. Now what's going to happen is that the tenants are going to reach out to you during their tenancy. Even if you have that, even if you have that rental certificate or that certificate of occupancy, they're going to reach out to you and complain. My one-year-old stove doesn't work. My one-year-old refrigerator's not working. I have no hot water. The hot water tank's not working. Well, it's not going to work when you're doing dishes in the dishwasher, laundry, and taking a shower. You can't do all three. You're taxing the hot water tank. So you do have hot water. You're just trying to use too much in a short period of time. <clears throat> or they complain. They have no smoke detectors. Well, yeah, you did because our rental certificate said that you had them. Because we couldn't get that without it. But you took them off the wall, you took the batteries out, and therefore they don't work. And, and my favorite, my favorite one, I have no heat. It's cold, I have no heat. Well, when it's zero degrees outside, and the wind chill of 20 below, and you have the heat at 80, it's not going to get up to 80. The outside factors will not make me well, they're going to 80 degrees. But you're complaining that you're cold. Well, many of you walk around in the wintertime in shorts and a t-shirt and expect them to be 80 degrees in the apartment. No. In the middle of the winter, not going to happen. Put on sweatpants, put on a fleece, cover yourself up with a blanket when you're watching TV. But either way, Lewis, these tenants are going to complain about these things. And here is where you fall into that trap that will cost you thousands. Your tenant will send you a voicemail, an email, a text, complaining about the aforementioned issues that I have just addressed. And your response is this. Well, let's make arrangements so I can come by and look at these issues and fix them or replace them for you. Okay, can we do that? You have just fallen into the trap! You just dove head first into that trap. And you'll say to yourself, Matt, what do you mean? What do you mean I fell into the trap? I told the tenant, let's make arrangements so I can go by and fix those items or replace them. That's, that's what I said. I didn't fall into a trap. Yes, you did. And here's how. You, by virtue of that message to them, put forth an admission that those things were broken and needed to be fixed or replaced. By saying, let me come by and fix them or replace them. You don't know that they're broken or not. You don't need to know, you don't know if they need to be replaced or not. You don't know that. 
You guys want ten cents so? No. Here is how you avoid that trap and possibly to save yourself thousands and thousands of dollars. Because when you go to court to evict the tenant and the tenant shows that text message or that email or plays that voicemail that you admitted that there were things broken and they needed to get fixed and replaced, you have now doomed yourself financially. The court's going to believe that, yeah, these things were broken. You admitted to the tenant that they were. But your response is going to be this that will keep you from falling into that trap. Here it is. Let me make arrangements with you so that we can come and inspect those items that you claim are broken. That you claim need to be replaced. The operative word is you. Meaning the tenant. You. So when you send out that voicemail, you accentuate the items that you claim are broken or need to be replaced. You in the email. You in the text message. Any way you communicate this, you're going to inform the tenant that you are more than happy to come by and inspect those items that they claim are broken and or need to be replaced. But you are not going to say anything in any way, shape, manner, or form that that which the tenant claims is true. You're going to word, you're going to use the word what you claim is broken or needs to be repaired or replaced. We will not examine that. By doing that, you're not falling into that trap by admitting what the tenant's claim is broken or not. And if you do, that will hurt you later on in court. That is the way around costing yourself thousands of dollars by not using that word you. We hope that this helps you little ones. We hope that you subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and the notification bell. Leave comments below, we will respond. And by hitting the notification bell, you will be made aware of future videos that we make all the time to help you little ones become better little ones. Until then, Take care.